Hey there everyone, welcome back to Miscellaneous Doom Mods. Today I bring you a boy in his barrel. From Jimmy. It's a Doom Mod. It's... It's a Doom Mod. Uh, press any keys, alright, let's, let's do that. So, going to start a new game. Uh, the testing Grounds is a tutorial level. Uh, I think it's meant to be a set of tutorial levels, but so far only one's actually implemented, so... It's a tutorial level. Already done that. Know how to play the game. So, just gonna jump right in. The default difficulty because game's kind of legitimately hard. Which is good. You know, difficulty in video games is, is important. So, the basic premise of this is that you must locate, which isn't very, which is usually not very hard, uh, your beloved barrel, Violet. She's right up there. And, or that. And then, once you locate her, you must bring her to the exit while protecting her from the demons. At all costs. Uh, making this somewhat difficult is that the demons don't... They don't understand your love. I mean, they're demons. They don't understand love in general, but in particular, they don't understand your love for this... This, you know, this barrel full of delicious berries. I think, I think, that's, I think that's the canonical filling. But you, but you die. So, uh, so as you can already tell, it does does contain the um, and you can drink your you can drink your beloved, uh, you know, if if that's what you want to do, uh, restores your health. Of note, uh, the health pickups you may notice are have purple hearts on them. Those can only be picked up by your your beloved barrel, so keep that in mind. Uh, there's so there's a lot of platforming involved in these in these maps, or fair bit anyway. Platforming and generally... Hello. Um, yeah, you may have noticed. He was about to throw... That imp was about to throw a fireball at, at, at Violet there. That's, that's not cool. Uh, but nonetheless, what was going to happen? As I said, they, they don't understand and... and... it's... it's tragic really. Uh, you can't. Oh, yeah. So the player cannot walk through the red at at uh, barriers. Violet. Oh God. Hide away, then, please. Uh, Violet can't go through blue barriers, which we will see later. Probably. I, I love. The, I love the messages when you drink from Violet. All right. Let's see here. I don't. Ha I don't have that much shotgun ammo. Why don't I have that much? Oh, I know why I don't have that much shotgun ammo. Uh, so I have played the. This first map and some of the second map. I'm not going over there. What am I doing? Uh, all right. So, oh yeah. So you can hold down right to pick her up. You can also just bump into her and throw it around. But uh, I feel uncomfortable with the particulars of that physics involvement. So I usually just carry her around. Like over here. Like, do you really do? You, do you really want to push? Do the pushing thing where it's like, oh, the bump bounce around. Uh, Violet does take damage from nukage floors, so, you know, that's something to be aware of. Uh, I'm using the pistol because I'm dumb. That's also something to be aware of. But less... It has less to do with the game itself than just that I'm an idiot. So... there's So there's that. I'll just... I'm gonna leave you over there, actually, because... I, Every time I leave her right there, and then, and then demon. Oh God, I I, I think I just shot demon. I shot violet. Oh my God, what have I done? What have I done? No! Oh God! Oh God! Oh. This game is this game. This game is tense. All right. Oh wait, there's lost souls in there. Never mind. Oh God! Oh God! I didn't want to use you. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't help that I, that I you know. Doors are hard, man. And there's another fossil. Doors. Doors are hard. I, mean, I, just, I don't know what else to say about it. This. Whoa. That's the third fossil. I did not remember there being a third fossil down there. That's alright. Anyway. Do, do, do. And I need to get the yellow key for me. Uh, so, yeah, so if I. I I think I mentioned that Violet has a special health, health pickups, but yeah, she can pick up any of your regular items. Uh, it's just that most, for like ammo and weapons, she gives them back to you for 
uh, for um, health pickups, she uses them herself. Although there are uh, special old health pickups that you can pick up directly, uh, most of them, at least in this first map, are are for are for Violet, and you just have to and you just just have to drink it back up from her uh, if you need health. It's uh, it's a thing. I was, I was going to use a, a word, but I decided not to. In addition to the health pickups, however, there are these berry pools. Uh, delicious berry nukage that, that heals Violet. Which is nice because that means you can, you know... You can, you can also heal off of them in that manner. <laughs> Do, 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 picking up some health, do, 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 picking up some armor. Um, da, da, da. So, and then and then we have some lovely portal esque. Uh, you need to put your barrel onto a switch because you need to activate the other switch that's on the other side. Oh, uh, so that's one of the. Um, I totally missed that before. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the player or health pickups. They're, they're green with a white cross on them. You know, exciting stuff. And, and yes, I, I'm not just playing badly. I am actually intentionally tanking the hits for, for Violet there. Uh, although I did only tank one hit this time in the past. I've had to uh, do more than that. Oh, all right. Uh, so I noted, by the way, that Violet can't move through the blue barriers. Oh, some interest is that the demons also cannot move through the blue barriers. Uh, they, they're they just generic monster blocking lines. Also, I was going to say, something something around there activates you. Oh, hello. You'll note, the demons, they can't chew my face off. I, I wonder if it's entirely intentional that you can actually trigger that door to open before you hit that switch, but you can. So there you go. I'm not gonna pick up that armor because I'm gonna give that to uh, Violet. Go over here. Do, 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 do. Oh right, I have to. <laughs> yeah, you have to do the thing. There you go. And you'll note her bow turns green. It's adorable. Uh, you can actually select different um, costumes uh, for Violet from the menu. This that the bow is the classic, so that's why I'm, I left it at. Actually, I haven't looked at the menu at all. I'm sorry. If, um, if I, oh, oh dear, oh dear, right, demons. The demons, they're real. Uh, they are a real thing. And I must protect my beloved barrel from, from them. Speaking of, speaking of using the super shotgun on the Hell Knight, uh, I need to use the super shotgun on the Hell Knight. Why are you still alive, anyway? There we go, that, that solves that problem. All right, and then I need to bring Violet. Oh, oh, oh! Right, yes. Y right. So if you um, so if you leave Violet behind too long, uh, she does eventually just explode. Or she, I, she'll start taking damage if you leave her alone too long. Uh, that's what the warning one of two was. Uh, if you run out of the warnings, yeah, she starts taking damage because she's been left all alone in this cruel, unforgiving UAC hellhole world. So that's that's good to note. Uh, let's see it. So uh, something I want to know about, about how this particular thing works is that if you if you like me like to carry around Violet, you know, gently rather than just tossing her around, this doesn't work because you hold her still when she gets onto the pad. Um, and it actually, when I first played this map, I actually took it took me a while to realize that you have to not be holding her when she touches the pad uh, in order to do that. Oh, right, and I have to be over here and go. No! Stop! 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 Stop right there! Oh, God! No! Oh, oh God, there's, there's more of them. Don't worry, Violet. I'll, I'll keep you safe. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, there we go. There we go. 
And no, you don't telefrag your barrel. I'm I'm glad I'm glad they worked that one out at least. There we go. Okay, so I have the red key now. I just need to engage in a fairly rudimentary puzzle. These switches raise these up, but you can only have one raise up at a time, so you have to so you can jump up over them, you know, you can jump around like a like a monkey if you want to. Uh just not while you're carrying Violet, so that's that's how this puzzle works. Can I kick you up there? Oh, I can just kick you up there. Interesting. Let me go over here. And I'm gonna set you down right there because I mean, because it's obvious that opening this door is going to result in horrible monsters. I mean, it's still dumb. I find it interesting how much this in how much this is traditional Dukum gameplay, uh, despite being such a wacky and crazy mod. Uh, as far as the other gameplay elements, you know, protecting your barrel. Uh, but yeah, but it still has the core Doom gameplay of running around killing things. Also, that is a that's that's a that's a thing over there. Mm, delicious secrets. I don't know if you, I'm pretty sure you don't actually keep your inventory between maps, so I'm not actually sure what the purpose of the secret is that you can only get to from the exit, unless there's some other secret around. Which I'm not I'm not gonna randomly oomph walls. I don't think Jimmy does random wall oomph secrets, because he's not a terrible person. Oh, what's oh whoa, what's that? Uh, hold on. Get over here. I need I need to jump on you. I need to jump on your head, Violet, my beloved. Oh ho ho! I, I I haven't really explored the maps that much, uh, to be fair. Uh, all right. So I did mention that the whole idea is to get Violet to the exit, which is that blue pedestal, and there you go. Yay! Violet is safe for another day. I love, I love the artwork on the intermission. I I love a lot of things about this mod. It's it's a great eight mod. Um. One of the things I find interesting, of course, is that at the whole you have to protect a violet thing, a, a companion that is totally immobile <laughs> is makes the combat kind of more frantic because you can't really take it eat you can't take it safe rather. Uh, you have to you have to get in there and you have to kill them be right away, and you probably have to tank some hits because they will preferentially fight violet. Um, yeah, go in there. Oh. Ah! Ah! Okay, Hell Knight. Or, or Baron of Hell. I hear terror. Come, let us. Uh, actually, I'm gonna leave you right here because. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Oh no! No, my shotguns! Oh. I don't think I was actually going to get crushed there, but I hate when my shotguns get crushed. I mean, that ba that's basically, you know, tantamount to crushing my, my hopes and dreams of living a, a peaceful life with my beloved barrel. Oh no! Oh, oh there are not revenants! There we go. Uh, actually, I'm gonna leave it. That's a little close to the crusher for my liking. I'm gonna leave it right there. Uh, just a moment while I go run in here and try and figure out what up. Yo! I always feel a little bad when I use the shotgun on the regular zombie mans because it feels like a waste of the of the ammo. Uh, let's see. Um. That that puzzle I haven't figured out yet. I'm sure there's the fist icon up there, and I tried using because when you punch, if you punch Violet, you push her crazy far. But even having her right here with the even with the berserk, it's not it doesn't quite get her in. So I I'm sure there's something I'm missing. But maybe not. Maybe I I just had to push her even closer to the edge because there's a 
another puncher across the a gap uh, puzzle in, in this level. I don't know if I'm gonna get to it though. Uh, probably though, actually, it's not that. Oh, caco demons! Can I, can I change all the caco demons? Um, I can. It's I wouldn't describe it as um, a good idea. Ow. Yeah, I wouldn't describe it as a good idea, but it is literally a thing that I just did. Right, there we go. <laughs> and of course, I shotgun the demons, which I can pretty easily uh, chainsaw. All right, let's uh, let's. And then somehow I ah, there we go. I remember this activated. I just yeah. So I, then I need to get you up here. Do ba do ba do. Door ba door. Go drink that medikit. Yes, Violet drinks the medikits. That's that's my that's my new cannon for for this. Uh, you will wait there just a moment because there's stuff over here and I'm curious about it. Oh whoa, what's this? Oh, oh wait, there's this stuff over here. Hello, 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 a heal sphere. That's always nice. Oh, dang, I forgot to. I forgot that's how the inventory works in, uh, I forgot that's how the inventory worked in Z-Dome. Uh, in case you're wondering how dumb what I just did was. Unintentionally. All right, speaking, oh, oh, no, no, I do, oh, no, 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 no. fist, all right, here we go. And I want to be nice and perfectly aligned here. I'm sorry. Oh, bugger. Yeah, sorry. It's really hard to actually get this right, but as far as I can tell, this is the only way to do it. Bugger. I, I did manage to do this. Like, and it has the it has the little fist icon in the in the portal portal signs here, which which I love. By the way, I love the portal signs. They're great. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't. I can't just carry you up there. I, I can't jump high enough with with the uh, with Violet in hand, and I can't make that jump. I don't think I can anyway. Maybe I can. Hold on. No, can't make that jump. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm gonna have to resort to extreme measures, and by extreme measures, I mean really, really slowly creeping up to the. Aha! And now I have the red key because Violet gives you the keys when you when you move her. Uh, so it, it's definitely a very puzzle-oriented uh, gameplay with just the with again the usual doom combat thrown in, and because of course it is. No, no, no I really need to conserve ammo here. What else is in here? Oh, there's a rocket launcher. That's always exciting. Oh, no, don't, 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 don't. Whatever, you, you just, you do what you gotta do. I'm gonna go grab Violet because I don't want to leave you behind too badly. Oh. There we go. Problem salt. Is that a door? Okay. I, I mean, it looked like a door. It could have been a door. You don't know that. That's a door. Boom sphere. Oh, my. Boom sphere. That is definitely a good healing place. Oh, that doesn't matter. He already has over 100 health. Oh, right. I have no ammo. And I must... I have no ammo and I must kill. <laughs> oh, this shotgun shell's down there. Uh, I guess I will... Let's see. Can I go grab... Okay, I can get down here. Can I get back up? This is an important question that I probably should have considered before jumping down here. Um, hmm. What's this? Uh, you can shoot me through those. I sh that is definitely something I should be aware of. It's in here. Oh, there we go. Uh, you know what? I have this. Let's use that. There we go. Awesome. Come over here. Well. Uh, however, that's as time, so I'm going to leave this off here. If you want to experience the fullness of this, this map, 
go play it yourself. It's fun. Uh, that's a boy on his bed. So this, <laughs> so this has been uh, Miscellaneous Dim Mods uh, featuring A Boy in His Barrel by Jimmy. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. S hope you all give this map and mod combination super deluxe awesomeness a try because it's great. Uh, good combination of puzzling and still shooting demons. Um, other than that, see you all next time.